Good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, I would usually make a video of this, but today I thought that I would uh, do a live stream. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, it doesn't look so great at the moment because the color's really weird on this camera, so you're probably seeing it all very yellow. Uh, but I thought I'd do a quick live stream. Um, last few days have been quite hectic, so I haven't had a chance to upload the video from the latest and greatest, the new launch from Porsche of the 992 911. Um, I haven't read all the information about it. Uh, like I said, I've been a little bit busy. Um, but I have read some things. I have read some things. And I thought today we'd just have a quick look at it and maybe go through the configurator and see the kind of things that we could spec on the new uh, 992. Now, I'm sure you guys have already tried the configurator. Um, it was up last night. Uh, I know I had a few uh, messages from people who have already put their configuration in, which is good. Um, so we'll have a look at that. Um, to start with, though, to start with, OK, this is all very new to me. I'm trying to work out. I'm actually doing this on uh, Google Hangouts, and uh, I'm struggling with it. Uh, so let's try it. Let's try it. OK, that's not going to work. Let me just give me one second. OK, I'm trying to share a screen with you guys. And it was working before. And now it is not working. OK, this is what happens when I try to do something live, and I thought it was set up, and it's not set up. So just give me a second. OK, some reason Google Hangouts is not playing very nicely with me, and it doesn't want me to share this screen. OK, sorry for the silence, but I'm just trying to work out what is going on so I can share this with you guys. Um, OK, I might have to abort this broadcast because it's not actually going to work. And I'm not quite sure why. Just give me one second. Let me see if I can work this out. If I can't work it out, I'm going to have to hang up. <sighs> OK, so the, the new 911 came out yesterday at the LA Motor Show. Um, lots of changes. I guess the most, the most sort of, uh, <sighs> the one that's causing the most sort of disconcern with a lot of people is the rear. Uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. Um, I'm in the basket a little bit undecided. Uh, I'm not quite sure if if I like the full lights. Um, 
I love all the new wheel options. I think the wheel options are great. I love how the back is uh, the back wheel arches are wider. I like how that they've they've decided to remove the um, the narrower body for the <clears throat> Carrera two and uh, base sort of models. They've gone with the wider body, which was more familiar with the Carrera four S models and special models in the nine nine one and previous generations. So that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> the wheels now are a staggered setup, which you guys probably already know about. Uh, I don't even know the size. Is it 20, 21? 20 at the front, 21 at the back. Um, so staggered wheel size. Um, different, uh, different, obviously, front and rear bumpers. Uh, you can't see the exhaust that well in this image, but in this exhaust picture, there's the, the twin exhaust pipes. If you spec, I'm pretty sure if you spec the uh, sports exhaust, you actually get the very large uh, single pipe on both sides, which looks uh, which looks very very cool. Um, so that's the, you know, that's the. Let me look at how to stop sharing this screen. Okay, so that's the um, that's the rear of the car. I mean, the other thing which is really nice. Well, I think it's I think it's quite nice. Uh, is the and let me just work this out again. Okay. Now the other thing which is probably gonna cause a little bit of um, controversy with people is the interior. I actually like it. Um, I think the center, the center analog dial uh, for the revs. I think it's it's very beautiful. I think the dial is very beautiful. Now it has the uh, two dials either side of that uh, of the RPMs, uh, which are all pro programmable. Pro programmable. Programmable. Um, the screen. You've got a bigger touch screen. Uh, I watched a video last night. Someone going through it. I forget who it was. Um, but I think their point is valid. I mean, the screen seems very big. Uh, the navigation PCM screen seems very large in the 911. For a 911, it seems very large. And that's probably just because it's new and we'll probably get used to it. Uh, in this picture, you can see there's the little um, <clears throat> the shift lever for the automatic. Not so sure about that. I guess it's a little bit out of the way now. It's not so obvious. It looks like the detail in all these buttons are quite nice. It looks like they've got kind of metal detail. Um, the cup holder in the center, you can see, we'll get, when we get into the configurator, you'll see the problem with that. The cup holder is uh, where the ashtray used to be in the previous models. You can actually spec that to be an ashtray, which looks a little weird. Uh, the dash, the flat type of dash, which is kind of a little bit more reminiscent of 70s models. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like the interior. Um, I think it's very German. Uh, I think it's very uh, simple, even though it's a lot of tech. I, I think they've still managed to keep it quite simple and quite pure, even though it has a lot of technology uh, in this 911 compared to you know previous generations. Uh, and I guess it should too, because it is you know we are talking about the eighth generation of the 911. We are talking about the 911 that will actually probably get some type of hybrid type of system later on in its life. So it's all kind of working to that. Obviously, the PDK is eight speed now, not seven speed. We're yet to see the manual. We're yet to see how the manual shift is positioned on the console, the center console. Uh, maybe that changes with the manual tr transmission. Um, but all in all, I, I like the interior. I think the options online are quite good. Uh, you can get wood now as an option. You can get carbon fiber as before, but the carbon fiber is slightly different where it's positioned. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I think is quite good about it. Now let's go into the <coughs> excuse me. Let's go into the configurator. Go to the UK configurator. We won't go to the um, we won't go to the US one. I'm in the UK at the moment, as you guys probably know, so we'll go to the UK one. Okay. So we'll spec the Carrera, the 911 Carrera S. Um, I will share that screen with you guys in a second. So the um, 
the Porsche 992 has been released in um, has been released in. Just give me one second. I just need to change a setting. Okay, so let me share this screen, and we will go through this. Uh, we'll go through this now. Once again, I apologize for the delays in this video. Uh, I haven't done a live stream before, as you guys know. I thought I'd try it. I know it's going to be a bit raw. I know it's going to be a bit annoying, uh, but just bear with me, and um, just bear with me, and uh, let's just see how it goes. Okay, let's share this. Okay. All right, so we're in the um, Porsche configurator. I'll make that a little bit bigger. It's as large as I can make it. We're in the Porsche configurator. Um, So, Carrera, uh, 911 Carrera S and 911 Carrera 4S are the first to be released. Nothing else has been released as yet. There's a few more pictures here on the configurator. They've updated the configurator. I think they've done quite a good job with it. Um, so this is the new configurator. Uh, then you've got your colors. So the colors, the colors haven't really changed that much. There's a couple of new ones, though. So you've got your standard colors, white, black. Uh, guards red and racing yellow, metallic Carrera white, jet black, dolomite silver, that's new, uh, Genetian blue, which is Genetian blue, Genetian blue, which is a bit of a brighter blue, like the sapphire blue, uh, night blue metallic, which I kind of like, uh, okay, gray, GT silver, and I never say it right, and I'll try and pronounce it, Aven Aventurine green metallic, which is the green, which was from the 993. It looks completely different in this photo. I don't know whether that's a true representation of the color, if they mainly updated the color for the 992, but it is an original 993 color. In fact, my friend had his 993 in that color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Then we've got the Carmine Red uh, Crayon, one of the favorites. These are the special colors, 1,900 pounds here in the UK, La uh, Lava Orange, Miami Blue, and Lizard Green. Lizard Green being pretty interesting, actually, because you can actually get the gold type wheels like on the GT2 RS or GT3 RS. So, you know, there's, there's plenty of options here. There's plenty of options here. Um, but I think looking at the Miami Blue, um, looking at the Miami Blue, just give me one second and I've just got to go back to something else to change the setting. Okay, now I don't know whether it's still working or not. I've lost the plot. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is the 911 Carrera S. Okay, so my colors, the colors that I like, I'm going to be really boring. I actually really like the night blue metallic. Uh, I like the nine blue metallic with the night blue metallic with these wheels. I don't know if you can see that with the uh, RS Spider 2021 inch RS Spider design wheels. I like that combination. These wheels uh, you'll find when you're on the configurator, these 2021 inch RS Spider design wheels, they don't actually offer them in black. When you go to pick black, they say no. Um, so you can't get them in black. 
So if you want a black wheels on the blue, I think the black and the blue always works well together. I'll just show you my first three, uh, three colors that I kind of like. I like this configuration. Uh, I also like it just with the uh, standard wheels, um, with the wheels painted in satin black. Uh, I really do like these blue, dark blue cars uh, with, with the black wheels. So that's that one there. Um, the other color that I really like is obviously GT Silver. GT Silver I like with the RS Spider wheels. Uh, I guess it's similar to my 911. It looks a bit like Satin Platinum. I like the 911, the new 911 in lighter colors. I like how you can see the bumper detail and the front bumper detail. I like how you can see all the detail of the car. Uh, I think in the darker colors, it gets a bit lost. Um, it is very fat though. When you see it from the top, it is very fat. Um, so I like the gray, I like the blue. I'm interested, I'm very curious uh, with the, um, I'm very curious with the green from the 993, the Ventura 9 green from the 993. I'm very curious if it looks the same as the 993 color, then I think it's, it's a great one. Um, it'd be a great choice. Uh, it looks quite good with the, these wheels, the RS wheels. You can also get the, um, you can also get the 2021 inch Carrera design inch wheels. And when they paint in satin black, it's just a center bit. I find these too techno. I find them too, I don't know if that's the right word, but I find them a little bit too techno. I'd rather just go for um, one of the other wheels. I don't like this wheel. I don't know why this, this Carrera classic wheel. I, I don't like the look of it. I like the first two. I like the Carrera S and I like the RS. I think the RS is probably my favorite. I always think about how they're going to clean that though because it looks like it's going to be very difficult to clean, especially if you wash your, wash your own car. Uh, the other color, so that's, those are the three colors I like the best. Um, obviously in the standard colors, racing yellow, if you were going a standard color. Uh, but for me, it's the blue, possibly uh, the GT Silver, which I always like. The, Aventurine green metallic and then the special colors um, Crayon was my favorite for the 991 especially in the, uh, the The GT3 touring don't like it so much in this. I don't know why I saw a um, I saw the crayon or chalk uh, Targa in London the other day uh, It looked okay. It didn't look great And then I saw the graphite blue metallic the graphite blue metallic from the 991 generation is probably one of my favorite colors Which is not available anymore uh, there's actually a <coughs> excuse me. There's actually a GT3 for sale in Australia. GT3. It could be a touring. Maybe not. Maybe it's a GT3 with a wing. There's one for sale in Australia in uh, graphite blue metallic. I love that color. Um, if I had the money, I would I would go and buy it tomorrow. Um, I think you get to see the detail really nice in this color, though. You can see the light detail. Sometimes I see the rear and I actually really like it. I'm not completely convinced about the the uh, old style kind of logo with the 911 then Carrera S on a different line. I don't hate it. I'm just not completely um, sure about it at the moment. In the special colors, I think my favorite would be Lizard Green, even though it's very, very bright, very, very wild. And the Lizard Green, I think you would have to get with the um satin arum wheels i think you would have to get it with the satin arum wheels and i know this probably doesn't look great on the configurator but i think actually in real life it actually could look quite nice i think there's a lot of playing around to be done with the wheels and the wheel combinations to see what you can get uh, my favorite like i said is still the um is still the the satin uh, <coughs> the rs spider design wheels uh, I think for today, the color that I'm going to pick is I'm going to pick night blue metallic, and I'm going to leave it with these wheels for now. Um, this is just a quick look at the configurator today anyway. Uh, interior, you get the uh, leather interior sport tech seat option, um, <clears throat> interior club leather, and leather interior leather seats. Uh, I think the combination that I liked is not that. And it's definitely not that. 
And that is graphite blue, which I'm not keen on. I still stick with black. I mean, I like the black. I just like black interior. I don't like the light interiors. Uh, for me, it would be either black or graphite blue, but I think it would have to be black with the crayon. Uh, the seats, it's a new design seat for the 992, so um, that'll take a little bit more sort of research to work out which is a better seat. 18-way um, or 4-way, 18-way is probably going to be heavier. 18-way is 2,300 pounds. I think if you're going to go to the Sport Seats Plus, I would probably go the 18-way. Um, other options, uh, deletion of model designation, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the sports design side skirts. That's where they're painted in the uh, exterior color. Uh, sunroof, definitely not. Privacy glass, I would probably say yes. And that's privacy glass on the side and the rear. Um, you can also get a carbon roof. Now, this is an interesting option, and I think it would look fantastic. I'm going to click it. I'm going to take it. I think this would look really good on the GT Silver and in the other colors. It could be a little bit lost in the, um, on the blue. I'm going to leave it there for now. I don't know if you need it. I think if you were going to do a roof option, I wouldn't do the sunroof. I would do the carbon roof. Carbon roof is more expensive. It's 2,500 pounds. Uh, let's just leave that in for now. Um, folding exterior mirrors. Normally, when you get folding exterior mirrors, they change the shape of the outside mirror. I would usually leave that. Uh, normally, the mirror shape is changed slightly. I'm not sure that's the case with the 992, but I'm going to leave that. Um, at the moment, uh, it's only PDK on the configurator. I think you'd have to take rear axle steering. I think you'd have to take uh, Porsche Dynamic chassis control. I think you'd have to take the sports exhaust, and I'll show you why the sports exhaust. The sports exhaust, that's it there, the two big pipes. Without four pipes, I like the two big pipes. Uh, so I would definitely take that. You can also get it in black. I think it would have to be in black. I think that looks really cool. I think you'd have to get the Sport Chrono package. I know a lot of people don't like the clock on the dash. Porsche are not getting rid of it. They're leaving it on. Uh, it's still important to them. Front axle lift I wouldn't worry about. Uh, front axle lift, do they show you where the button is? They're showing you that part of the dash. I can't actually see where the button is. Ceramic brakes, I wouldn't worry about. Uh, brake calibers in high black gloss. Now, there's no image. So the brake calipers, as you know, on the Carrera S are red. Would you do them in high black gloss? I kind of like how they're not red. I kind of like how they disappear. Uh, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to change them to black. Um, like I said, this is not my final choice on color. It's just a color that I came across last night that I quite liked. Need to see these wheels in real life. Uh, and of course, this is a dream configuration. At the moment, I'm not uh, selling my 997. <clears throat> so the new, um, the new LED headlights, I think you'd have to get those. Uh, 2,000 pounds, not cheap. Uh, they're probably like six or $7,000 in Australia for the same thing. Park assist front or rear, including reversing camera. I think you would get that on the Carrera S. I don't know whether you'd get it on the GT model or if you're getting the new T model when it comes out, but I think on the Carrera S you would. Uh, I'm not a fan of comfort access, so I would leave that off. Night vision assist, I don't think it's needed. I wouldn't tick it. Home link, I would tick just for the pure convenience. Uh, lanes change assist. I'm not a big fan of all those uh, those aids, so I wouldn't wouldn't tick it. Um, what else? You can get fire extinguisher. You can change the steering wheels. You can change the color of the seats. Uh, the smoker package is a really weird one, and it's a very strange one. Have you seen it? Let's go to the picture. So you see the picture. It looks like the cup holder is now in the center. When you pick the smoker package, it puts a lid on the smoker package, which looks like a it looks like a coffee cup in your cup holder, but it's actually this the covering the uh, cup holder. Um, there it is. There, you can see the carbon fiber trim on that picture as well, which is quite nice. How they put the trim just in small amounts. Uh, I don't like the I don't like the uh, smokers package. Most people would have picked that in the nine nine one to fill up the gap in the console center console. In this one, I would say no. 
Um, interior leather package. Uh, you've got the leather here. I don't know if you need to add any of those. I think you're getting your options are just going to get crazy. Ah, roof lining and Alcantara, I would definitely tick. Uh, sports stream with Alc Alcantara, I wouldn't pick. For this configuration, I would take the storage compartment, live with uh, Porsche Crest. Oh, not Alcantara, in leather. Oops. What have I done? Oh, this is Alcantara. So we'll take that off. Sorry. Interior wood, uh, they have one wood option. You can't really see it in the configurator, but it, it does change it to wood. Interior carbon. I kind of like the interior carbon package. I kind of like how it's quite subtle. And I like the door sills in carbon, so I'd pick those. Uh, interior aluminium we'll miss out on. Bows we'll pick. Uh, what was the one thing that I said we needed? Oh, the center console armrest. So I would get the Porsche Crest embossed on the headrests, and I would get the I would get the, not that one, Porsche Crest embossed on center console. Uh, I just picked up one of these for you guys that don't know. I actually bought it at last for my 997. I'll fit that when I get back to Sydney. I was lucky enough that uh, I bought it from Suncoast when they had a Black Friday sale. And I was also lucky enough that Natasha's sister lives in New York and she's going to bring it over for me. So it saved um, on shipping to Australia. So that was really, really good. So I saved... I think in the end I saved about 300 US dollars because of the shipping and, and the Black Friday sales. So that was great. Um, and that's about it. Oh, the other thing was the, not that, the other thing was the uh, caps. I like the full color caps. Now, do they work with this wheel? I think they do. All right, so this is the first one. Uh, this is not going to be my last one. This is the first one. So it's in the um, blue, which I should remember the name of. What is the blue called? Night Blue Metallic. I kind of like Night Blue Metallic. I like these wheels. Maybe the black wheels are better. Maybe the black wheels are better. This has got the carbon roof, um, carbon inside. Very simple. Uh, I like it. I like the look of it. Uh, the more I play with the configurator, the more I really like the, uh, the new 992. In fact, in that same configuration, if you pick GT Silver, these wheels with GT Silver, like I said, it's a bit reminiscent of my 997. You know, I, I really do like the GT Silver. And like I said, the lighter colors, you now see the black on the front and the black on the back, the new bodywork. Uh, it, looks, it looks pretty good. And with the carbon roof as well, I think it's pretty special. Uh, I'd be happy with the GT Silver. I really would. Uh, like I said, the other color is the um, Lizard Green. I think Lizard Green, you'd have to get black wheels, though. I'm just showing this very quickly because now it's configured. But I think with the Lizard Green, you would have to get the satin black wheels. See, something about the Lizard Green with the carbon roof, it's actually quite a nice spec. It's a bit more sportier. It's a bit out there. It's a very bright color. But the lizard green, the satin black wheels, and the carbon roof, it's one option. GT Silver Metallic, not with the black wheels, with the RS Spider design wheels. I really like that. I really like that. Just a simple black interior with the carbon accents. Uh, I don't think the 993 green is showing up good on the configurator, so I won't do that. But that is a color that I think we need to look at more because that could be a really special color in this uh, in this 911. Um, but that's just a quick look, anyway. Like I said, I haven't had I haven't had a lot of time to I haven't had a lot of time to um, to go through the configurator. Uh, it's been a bit of a crazy week, uh, but I just thought I'd upload that today. Um, I feel like I've been I feel like I've been looking on uh, Instagram and I've been looking on uh, YouTube and there's just so much out there on the 911 and I really like I like reading news and I'm I'm probably like all you guys I mean it's really good to see what's to see all the press that's out there but it gets a little bit repetitive um, and I know there's there's you're already probably countless configuration videos on YouTube of um, people configuring their new 992 uh, you know I've done this in the past. Uh, I'm not buying a 99. I'm not buying a new 911. Um, I'm happy with my 997, 911. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you can watch some of my other videos in my channel. Um, but 
I think for me, um, hopefully now the 991s will really drop in price. Uh, if I got a 991, it would be a GT3. Uh, I'd rather get a 997 Mark II GT3. I do like the 991.2 Carrera uh, T. Uh, that's what I would be looking at before I started looking at a 992. Uh, the 992 starting price in Australia, <clears throat> I think in the US is about 95,000 US dollars starting price. The 911 Carrera S starting price in Australia is uh, 265,000 Australian dollars plus on-road costs. That's with no options. So add another 10% on for on-road costs, and you're looking at close to 300,000 US dollars. Now, 300,000 US dollars is getting close to what a um, what a GT3 used to be. Uh, so you know the prices the prices are getting a little bit crazy. They're getting a little bit crazy. Um, but you know, I think Porsche. I think at the moment Porsche can't do a lot wrong. They've they've really, I think they've nailed it with the with the new 9, 911. I think, yeah, there's a couple of things that we're not sure about. I think in general the way they've they've kept the essence of the car, like you can still see it. I like how there's there's some 70s type of influences. Like you look back to the the bonnet hood, looks like some of the 70s models. You know the flat dash is reminiscent even of. 993 or 964, you know, that very flat dash, but then it's got all the tech in it, you know, so they've incorporated the tech, but in a way they've kept it, they've kept the essence of the 911, even though it's it's a very modern 911, and it's a very big 911, it's got a lot bigger, it's a lot faster, it's something like 3.5, is it 3.5 seconds? 3.5 seconds or something like that, uh, 0 to 60 miles an hour, 0 to 100, that's very fast. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the GT cars are like because if if the base if the Carrera S is that fast, uh, I think the Carrera T, the new 992 Carrera T, and I have heard Porsche are doing it. I think they are doing it. I think that would be a really really good one. Um, what else? What else is in the specs? Let me go to the specs and see. Let me go to the specs and see. Oh, where are the specs? Where are the specs? I'm not sure how this stream is going to go because uh, the internet today in uh, London, in our flat, has not been fantastic. It's not been fantastic. Um, let me share. Let me find it. I'm working out how to use this live stream. In no time, I'm going to be a whiz at it. Let's share. Let me share the specs so I can read them together with you guys. Okay. Okay, here they are. Yeah, so, um, I mean, they're pushing the fact that it's powerful, it's faster, and it's digital. Understand that. Uh, you know, um, I think it's interesting that the one at LA Motor, the one that they showed in the launch was yellow. And I think, I really believe they're showing this, like I said, because you can see the detail of the black and the front and back bumper. I think it really adds to the adds to the style of the, of the new 911. Um, so what is it? It is, a, yeah, zero, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, rear-wheel drive in 3.7 seconds. Carrera 4S is actually faster in 3.6 seconds, um, 0.4 of a second faster than the previous model. So that's, that's quite a lot faster. Um, and increase for, by a further 0 0.2 seconds with the Sport Chrono package. Top speed 308 kilometers an hour for the Carrera S and 306 kilometers an hour for the all-wheel version. Um, the new lights, the new lights are apparently work really well. I don't know a lot about them, so forgive me if I'm saying this incorrectly. The new lights, the new LED lights work really well in sport mode. They adjust, they have a lot more adjustment, I think, when you're turning and, and they're more active. Uh, I think that's why the lights are better. I think they look better. I think the design of them looks better. 
Uh, I think they fixed that up from the 991, which a lot of people didn't like. I was one of them. Um, I think it's, you know, the back window and the, the new brake light. I like, oh, and the wing. We didn't talk about the wing. Uh, I'll show a picture of that in a second, but you might have already seen that online. That's the interior in blue. Um, lots of assistance. Also, they've got all the new apps, the Porsche Road Trip app, the Porsche 360 app, and Porsche Impact. Um, you know, but in, in general, it's 330 kilowatts of power. Uh, what else? What else? What have I missed? I probably missed a lot of things. Anyway, let me stop sharing that. I just want to go back to, I just want to go back to the other page. I hope I was sharing that. Was I sharing that or not? I wasn't sharing it, was I? No, I was sharing it. Okay, let's stop sharing that. Uh, let's share, um, let me share this one. Okay, so the wing. Um, I like the design of the wing. I like the design of the back. I like the slats at the back. I like the brake light integration on the back. I like the shape of the rear window. Uh, I like how the exhaust are in the uh, how the exhaust is also integrated into the whole rear. Um, I'm starting to like it. I'm looking at it again. I'm starting to like the back logo. I'm not loving it, but I'm starting to like the 911 Carreras on the back. The Porsche logo in the lights. Porsche logo in the lights is quite well done. I mean, it looks expensive. Uh, the rear wing uh, comes up in two stages. I, I saw something uh, on Porsche or another person's review last night. It comes up in one stage, and then after 150 kilometers an hour, is it, or more, it comes up at another height. Uh, so there's a lot of error going on there with the rear wing. It'd be interesting to see what happens when the, uh, when the special GT models come out and how they... Um, how they incorporate that, especially with the GT3 with the wing and the GT3 Touring, uh, which will obviously need more downforce. So that's the rear wing. OK, so um, I'm going to lose my light here now, and I don't have an external light to use for you guys. So I think that's it for today. Um, like I said, I'm trying something new here. Uh, I just thought I'd try this. I'm only doing this, and it, for those of you who are interested, which is probably why it looks a bit weird and I keep looking down. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not live streaming from my camera. I'm live streaming from Google Hangouts. And Google Hangouts, I'm using my webcam on my MacBook Pro. Uh, the MacBook Pro, it's not ideal, the webcam. I've just had a look at the YouTube, and it says that my uh, streaming speed is really low. I don't understand why that would be the case when uh, the internet uh, connection here in London where I am is very, very fast. Uh, we have a very fast, because we do video meetings all the time, it's very fast. So it's saying it's very slow. So this video might be really bad. It might be crappy. Uh, but I wanted to try it. Uh, I want to do more of these in the future. I'm thinking about buying a couple of pieces of equipment, which will make it a lot better, where I can use my Sony a7S to stream from uh, and use a better external microphone um, and also a, a lighting setup so the lighting will look much better. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to get this video out. This is my first my first thoughts on the new 911. Uh, I like most of it. I'd be interested to see it in real life. It'd be good to actually see uh, see a first test drive of it. Uh, I wish I could get to drive it. That would be even better. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. Uh, I think you can figure it in multiple ways, and you can spend an absolute fortune on. Um, you can spend an absolute fortune on uh, options. I'm not even sure just then. I didn't even look. Let me have a look. <clears throat> I don't think it actually tells me the price. Oh, it did. Uh, what were the options? 22,000 pounds. 22,000 pounds. So even in that small configuration that I just did, and I was being very conservative, that was 22,000 pounds in options. Uh, which took the 911 to a grand total price for a 911 Carrera S to 115,000 uh, Great British pounds, 115,000 pounds. Um, like I said, I think if you configure it in Australia, in Australia it's 265. <clears throat> I think you would be easily, easily spend 35,000 in options. 
Uh, so that's 300,000 and on roads, you're probably looking at 320 odd thousand Australian dollars for a career S. Uh, like I said, um, that seems a lot to me. Um, you can get a 991 GT3 RS secondhand low kilometers for mid 300s, no, high 300s. You can get the 901.2 GT3 secondhand in Australia now for 340. Uh, so you can buy a secondhand GT3.2, 901.2, or you can buy the new Carrera S. I think you have to wait. I think the Carrera S, uh, if you have unlimited funds, I think, yes, you could buy one now. Otherwise, I think you need to wait till the depreciation hits a little bit. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this live stream. Uh, if you like it, uh, it's probably not going out live to many of you guys now. Uh, I just realized before that... I just realized before that, <coughs> excuse me, that um, I just realized before that I had it on, uh, I had it on pro uh, unlisted. So when you have it on unlisted on YouTube, uh, you wouldn't have got a notification of this if you were subscribed to me. And you probably wouldn't have seen it in the search results. Um, uh, I've just made it public. So for any of you who are watching it, uh, please let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these. Um, I will fix up the equipment. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on the new 911. Let me know, uh, paste your configuration in the comments. Go to the Porsche configurator, US configurator, or the UK configurator. Uh, they give you a code. You can paste a link to the code. Paste a link to the code. Paste a link to your configuration code in the, in the comments. And maybe what I'll do is I can do a video and I'll show the best ones, or I'll just go through them, go through your guys' uh, configurations. That would be pretty cool, actually just to get you guys to, to, to put your thoughts on, on paper. Like I said, don't hold me to my configuration. That was my first thought. Uh, but I gave you a few options there. That's what I'm thinking. Just looked at it. Haven't had a lot of time, like I said. Uh, and I apologize for all the white balance in this video and, and, the, and the poor quality, because I can see it's going in and out of weird white balance. Um, but anyway, your configuration in the comments, and we can talk about it next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.